Oh my god. I'm at a loss for words. I'm confused. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Is that straightener working? Hi, beautiful. Let's watch some videos together. It's been a long time and I shouldn't have left you, but I'm back now. And I'm back like I never left because we're jumping right into this video. Thank God we missed you, Jay. I've never seen your videos before, but I missed you. Today's a protein treatment, silk press, and trimming my ends because it's been six months this time. Oh, I love a hair treatment day. I love it. I love it. I love it. I actually have no idea what her hair looks like yet, but she's going to do a protein treatment. She's going to do a silk press. Obviously, the silk press is what we came here for, though, because we love a silk press and last time I watched silk presses you guys wanted more so here you go today obviously we're watching people do it themselves and not professional do it so it'll be a little bit different today let's see if the silk press skills translate as well as they do on yourself as when a professional does it for you by the way Disclaimer for today's video, I am not an expert in silk pressing. So everything I say is just my own thoughts, okay? Don't take everything too literally. And also correct me if I'm wrong down below, as I'm sure you will because you always tend to. <laughs> oh, her hair is beautiful. Oh my God. It's not super, super coily. It is a bit more on the wavy side, but it looks to be long. It's hard to see because she's wearing a black top and her hair is black. Not exactly seeing the vibes yet, but like I'm imagining, I can see a little bit. It's very bright in this room, guys, by the way. So when I don't see things that are actually happening on my computer, it's because it's really fun bright in here and my screen only gets so bright. So sometimes I say different things than like what it looks like to you. I thought I needed to explain that right now. I'm probably nobody cares. If you ever think that I'm like saying things that don't make sense, which I often do. And when I look back at the edit, I'm like, uh, that made zero sense at all. Um, that's just because I can't see my laptop screen. I should probably fix that. I advise that you cover your arms, put on gloves, and put this solution in a spray bottle. It stinks, it's sticky, and it can irritate your skin. Okay, still can't see her hair, but her hand just went down to here to cover her hair with the spray, this protein spray. So I'm guessing her hair is extremely, extremely long. Her hair is luscious and beautiful. Oh, I cannot wait to see this hair straight. I love a transformation and I love seeing black women do their hair because it is just so good all the time so you'll see me brushing the product through my hair but i only do this once it's freshly applied i don't go back later because the solution is way too sticky for that and you run the risk of causing breakage holy sh her hair is beautiful oh okay sorry i just scrolled ahead yo the genetics are wild her hair looks so Pretty. Oh my God, this hair is gonna be so long when it's straightened and so luscious and so shiny, I cannot wait. So now that my hair is all dry and crunchy, that means it's time to go ahead and rinse out the protein solution. I'm just gonna remove the clips that I have here. And if you're wondering, I only clip my hair up because I have a bonnet dryer and this is the only way that I can fit my hair. By the way, prepping for your silk press is just as important as your technique when you're doing the silk press because you gotta make sure that hair is nice and soft and conditioned before you actually go in and blow dry and straighten. It'll really help the process be much easier for you and you'll get better results and you'll get longer lasting results too. I'm gonna take the clips out, rinse out the solution, apply step number two, the balance and moisturizer, leave that in my hair for about five minutes and then I'll be back. So I have rinsed step two out of my hair and I actually followed it up with this moisture therapy shampoo from Chi as well as the thermal protective treatments kind of like a conditioner. A lot of black women love Chi. I've noticed that pretty much all the silk press videos I've watched over the years people always whip out the Chi. I don't see many other people using it besides people with really coily uh, dry hair. Let me know why everybody loves it so much. I'm pretty sure like a lot of the Chi products are basically just nearly straight up up silicone and silicone is great I love silicones but you know let me know if there's other things that you just love about these products because I'm interested and now it's time for some leave-in and a heat protectant and I was trying to decide between it's a 10 and the bio silk but I think I'm gonna go with it's a 10 and for my heat protectant I'm gonna use Tresemme this is the OG one I've been using this so long y'all when my hair was relaxed you know fried dyed and laid to the side I was using this one so why would I give up on her now you would absolutely love our super gloss spray. I'm gonna send it to you because why the hell not? This will keep your hair so soft and smooth and shiny and frizz free for literally weeks, months. Depends how much you wash your hair, but this is a miracle and it's a heat protectant as well. So perfect product. So boom. Oh. You know what? Every 
every time I do a protein treatment, I'm just so like, the curls be curling afterwards. The curls do be curling. They look good as hell. I mean, those curls are in place. They are perfectly defined and she has no other product in her hair besides that one protein treatment. I'm amazed so far. So she's putting a whole lot of product in her hair, which I love to see. I also love using products. I mean, I am a hair product junkie. I make hair products and I obsess over using them. Uh, the more the merrier for me with curly hair. It's like, you can't really go wrong because the curls just suck in all that moisture and those products and it just makes everything so much easier and the blow just gets so much better and so much silkier and so much softer and so much shinier when you use a lot of products. So for me, yeah, it's a must. So far, I'm loving what's going on. This is my OG. What is this? I don't even know what brand this is, but I've had it forever. I wasn't expecting a blow dryer like that. I was expecting a, a really a nicer blow dryer. You know, I'm, I'm sure it does the job, but holy shit. Like a blow dryer is so important to making uh, a process like this effortless and easier for you. Um, you know, I love my life in blow dryers. So I bought this universal one. I'm gonna start off with the Rev Air just because I wanna get the bulk of the drying done and then I can go through with either the Revlon blow drying brush or just this blow dryer to get kind of like that smooth blow out. Oh, okay. So she is using the Rev Air like suctioning blow dryer. I had one of those a long time ago. I don't know where it went. I think I gave it away to somebody. Who did I give that to? Like what a random thing to give somebody. I liked it, but it just like was only for some specific hair types, I feel like. And I just like, I like the blow up process, but it was a cool blow dryer and it's a cool idea. But yeah, interesting. Probably should have done a smaller section. Um, it's fine. I can fix it. It's still very poofy, but it's a lot straighter. I don't know, I just feel like blow drying it with like a round brush would have been better. I feel like when you get a smoother blow dry um, before actually going in with the flat iron, you just get longer lasting results. That's what people have told me. I mean, I don't have curly hair, but that's what I've seen work for people. So I don't know. We whipped out the brush attachment, I guess for the Rev Air. This is looking a little bit easier and also looking pretty good. It's getting straighter, we love to see it. I want the flat iron though. Where is the flat iron? Iron, come on, let me see it. I'm gonna finish blow drying my hair and then I'll be back. Holy shit. It is lengthy. It is down to her butt. It is down there and it is looking good and healthy. And I have to say, I am very intrigued and I just cannot wait to see these results. I just want to fast forward, but I'm watching it with you guys and we're in this journey together. So let's just, let's just stick through it. If you want a, sil a sleek, silky, Press, you need to ditch the rat tail comb and get you a bristle brush. That's an interesting tip. I tend to use tail combs when I'm straightening hair, but a poor bristle brush is also a great option for smoothing and adding extra shine to the hair and distributing oils throughout the hair. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Chi Empress Infra Silk Infusion. Let me look up what's in this Chi product. This thing, I swear, everybody loves it. I'm pretty sure all of the top three ingredients are silicone. So it is extremely <laughs> silicone based, which makes sense. I'm, I'm not saying, I feel like I, when I say that, it sounds like a bad thing. It's not, it's just interesting. Silicone helps with smoothness and softness. Basically, I like to think of it as putting a coating of like kind of a, a plasticky material on the hair. That's not like actually what it is, but that's just like how I enjoy, I like thinking about it. So it definitely coats the hair and sometimes it can cause buildup depending if it's water soluble or not, but silicones have gotten a bad rep over the years and people like to make silicone free lines to just have a marketing edge, but it's not true that it's bad for you at all. Yee! We have began the flat iron process and I am so happy about it. She has that flat iron that goes up to a thousand degrees, that blue one that everybody has. And that thing is hot as hell. But listen, it gets the job done. I mean, it looks good. It is shiny, it is long as hell. I cannot wait to see these after results. I wanna be there already. The shine, look at the shine. Whoa, that shine is magnificent. It's almost like I went to the salon. Shut the f up right now. I can't watch the rest of this. Oh, it is looking too good. Wow. I look so different when my hair is straight versus like wearing it curly. You can't tell me that's real hair. Is that her real hair? What? Listen, that is a 
30 inch bust down. You cannot convince me otherwise. That is not your real hair. That is a 30 inch mother bust down. And it is bussin' down. This is like every gay man's fantasy. To have this be your natural hair is just crazy because you see like gay men putting on wigs like this and just being like... Well, they're just like running down their back and just being like... Phew. Like this girl, this is her real life. Every gay man who's put on a 30 inch bust down is cosplaying this girl. And you need to give her credit because this is her real fucking life. The shears. Please don't use kitchen scissors. Actually, you know what? Do whatever you want. Oh, sh we're cutting it? What are we about to do here? I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting to cut like three inches off. That's wild. I hope it looks good. Let me take a look. I mean, it looks pretty damn good to me. The fact that she just cut off three inches and it still looks that long is f crazy. I just am so glad to be rid of these ends, y'all. Anybody want some dead ends? I mean, the way to perfect a silk press at the end is to give a haircut. Like, every silk press needs a haircut at the end. It does. I'm sorry. There's always some fried ends there at the end of a silk press, and just cutting them off just makes it so perfect and clean and satisfying. That, before and after, is insane. Her hair looks incredible. Beautiful. Wow. I am absolutely shocked at those results. Y'all came to see the silk press, so here we go. My hair had been in a twist out and a puff for weeks, so I was like, okay, it's time to shampoo. It's time to get myself nice and silky. We got some real curly, curly textured hair now. This is my shit. I mean, the last one was great too, but like this, this is the thing that really gets me. All right, it all gets me. Never mind. I mean, it all gets me kind of going. But like, <laughs> I just love a hair transformation. The more extreme, the better. Am I the only one? Let me know. I don't know. All right, she is prepping the hair, putting in the work. We're doing the cleansing. We're doing the deep conditioning masks to get it nice and prepped to do a really good silk press. I love learning from you guys, even the little things. I love learning what curly hair people like to use on their hair and how they like to use them. I let this sit for about 20 to 25 minutes with a heated cap, or if you don't have that, you can also use a uh, blow dryer. I love that she's letting the hair mask sit with a bag on it. It really helps expand that cuticle. Heat makes that hair swell and that moisture can get inside of that hair strand even better when you have heat with your hair mask. It's it's a great idea. Do y'all see how popping my curls are after this deep conditioner, honey? Just just look at the shine. And yes, I did comb it through as well. I like to section my hair into fours when I'm blow drying my hair. I highly recommend this to you as well. This is something I always forget I can do with curly hair when I'm, when I'm doing my own silk presses on people. People, is braid the hair. Like I just forget that you can braid it and like not even put a clip in and it'll just stay. I always think I need to like do a like a, a clip, but you don't. You can just braid everything into small sections and it'll just stay perfectly like that. It just serves its purpose for me not to just do it completely wet on my own hair. Now it still is a little damp, but you know, I just like to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, so this is an interesting technique that I don't see a lot in the videos that I react to lately, is just stretching the hair out and not focusing on making it super straight. She's just really getting rid of like 80% of that curl, but not trying to blow it out necessarily, if that makes sense, you know? She's not trying to get a perfectly sleek blowout so that it's more manageable to then run through with the flat iron, which I think is a cool, interesting technique. Again, like I said earlier though, I feel like the more heat that's applied to a silk press, the longer it lasts. I don't know if that's true. Again, I don't have curly hair, but just speculation and things I've heard from people over the years, that seems to be true. She is going in there, putting in the work though. I mean, it's getting pretty straight. Her hair looks like it's very easily blow dryable, straightenable. It is getting pretty dark straight just with that blow dry technique that is kind of just kind of just going for it she's just taking these big big sections and boom bam bang just going for it all at once and the hair is looking shiny i mean it is color treated but it is still shiny as hell let me get my beyonce on real quick because i feel the bad bitch starting to load up yes now i'm going in with my nano titanium flat iron she's got a titanium flat iron we're about to see a good Silk press, titanium, and really curly hair. Oh, they are best friends. You can section it off um, if you would like to, but I just went in and did parts. I mean, it, it took me a little longer because of this reason too. 
So don't be like me. Oh my God. I tell you all the time, the way that black women do their hair, oh, there's just nothing like it. You see a white girl trying to straighten their fucking hair, it is a disaster. You see a black girl doing it, those sections are sharp and they are small and they're perfection. Even on the back of their damn head, they don't even have to see back there to know that their section is perfect. I mean, it is impressive. Look at this. Look how straight her fucking hair is how look at the way she does those edges too i mean what she was basically just flat ironing her stem skin like what <laughs> What? She is taking her time. She is going all around the head, little tiny sections, doing basically, I think, one pass per section, because that's all she really needs when you're doing tiny, tiny sections like that. This is just magical to watch, and her hair is so shiny and healthy and hydrated. Wow. The way that it just moves when her head moves, and she's got that, oh, it's just perfect. Her hair looks better than somebody with, like, naturally straight hair. Like this, the way she straightened it looks better than my hair would ever look naturally straight. It looks so fluffy and like, not fluffy, but just, just silk. And this is the definition of a silk press when it just looks like silk. Am I getting my point across? Good. I'm using my one and a half inch Bebelis flat irons. They are ceramic. They are on I think like 350 maybe. Yes. I just bought that flat iron. After watching Silk Press videos, I needed that flat iron. I was like, that shit looks good. That shit does the job. By the way, I love that she's putting like a bevel in the hair. That was the only thing I was missing from this was like, please just give it a little bit of body, a little bit of movement. I like the stick straight look, but like, I don't know, a little bit of movement is just gonna really make this pop. I'm using these Velcro uh, rollers. They came in different sizes. So I really like that, especially if you know I want to have more body than curl it gave you a body and because I already had layers it really just set it off I mean do y'all see the drop do y'all see like the luster and shine it is giving I just love body I love volume I love body yaddy, yaddy. sexy hair is starting to come back and not just bone straight so if you are the girl that loves this type of look I think that doing the roller set after the flat iron would really be beneficial for you. Holy shit. You just took the cake for, I think, the prettiest finished result from the silk press I've ever seen. The before and after, I'm out of words. I love watching this. That body at the end was just, mm, just perfect. Just the amount of movement and the volume. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with freshly washed hair. You want your hair to be washed and zero product inside of it. What I use to wash my hair is the Aussie Mega Moist Shampoo. I just like to wash my hair with a regular shampoo first to get all my hair products out. And then I like to use this Chi Infra Shampoo. More of the Chi. This is becoming an ad for Chi. I mean, clearly it's good. So now my hair is just down dripping. There's zero product in my hair. I'm just gonna comb it out. Okay, so now that my hair is all combed out, it's time to blow dry. And then the only product I like to put in my hair is this Chi Silk Infusion. I usually use this more so whenever I am shaving my hair. I will actually put that in each section. But I'm just gonna put a little bit throughout. Now it's time to blow dry. So I'm just gonna get this towel and like squeeze my hair to try to get as much of the excess water out so that my blow dry and will blow dry quicker. That's interesting that she does that. Cause usually I have always tried to make sure that the hair is wet when I go to blow dry it. Like wet, wet, wet. Also when I put product in, just like wet, 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 wet. Because you want to lock in that moisture. So you don't really want to dry the hair out before you put the water. I paused this video in the funniest face of her. I'm sorry about that. Let's change the face. All right, here we go, Jasmine. Sorry about that. So I usually tried to make it the hair the, the wettest possible, but I guess because her hair is not that curly, you can probably get away with like not having it sopping wet. Okay, so when I blow dry my hair, I like to use one of these... What are these called? That is a boar bristle round brush. It looks like a hybrid boar plus ceramic round brush. Interesting choice. I don't know. I've always used more like flat brushes when I do uh, like a silk press type of thing. Cause these put like body and, and volume in your hair. So like I tend to not use things that put more body and volume in the hair. Cause we already got all the body and volume. We're trying to deplete it. We're trying to get it flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair into four. Four sections. God, she has luxurious hair. This is about to be a transformation, like a major one. And then basically, I'm just gonna use this brush 
and then blow dry at the same time. Okay, so we're not actually using the round brush. <laughs> well, we are. We're basically just doing the same technique as the last girl, where we're just trying to get rid of some of that wave pattern. We're not actually like straightening the hair with the brush. Again, interesting. I think it's really interesting that people don't try to like blow out the hair before straightening. I guess that works the same, right? Let me know if anybody has like comments on that. Like, is it is it worth trying to get it straight with the blow dryer or is it just faster and more effective just go in with the uh, flat iron on top of just like smoother hair than what you started with. There we go. All done, blow dried, ready to be straightened. I just feel like you should leave it right here. Like this looks so good on you. I don't even think you need to, to straighten it. This is major. If you walked outside with this hair, boy, the compliments you would get, it'd be never ending. I mean, this looks so good. I don't even know where to put all of this. It's too much. <laughs> and then here's it from the side. The jeans on her are insane. The hair jeans, the face jeans, the face card never declines ever. So it is time to straighten my hair. And for this video, I'm actually using a different straightener than I have in my last videos that I've shaved my hair with. I actually saw this one on Instagram and there's also an adjustable temperature thing right here. This straightener goes up to 450 degrees, but I'm straightening my hair at 380. I was looking it up online because I wanted to know what's too high for a straightener and apparently anything over 400 is damaging to the hair. 451 can damage and burn healthy, healthy thick hair. So that's why I'm not going to 450. Yo, 450? <laughs> for a hair straightener is insane. But I'm pretty sure that's what the, that titanium thing does. Let me see. Holy shit. No wonder why people use a straightener on really curly hair. It goes up to 465 degrees. That seems crazy, but effective probably. Woo. I cannot wait till she gets to the part where she starts straightening. I'm dying for it. I am really dying for it right now. So I'm just gonna comb it out. Make sure there's still no tangles. Okay, and then this is where I use more of the Chi Keratin Silk Infusion. I used to use the regular Chi Silk Infusion. It's the same bottle, but in red, and it doesn't have keratin. We're going with the same Silk Infusion, whatever Chi product that everybody else is using. I'm gonna get half of this, and then I'm gonna use a really small fine tooth comb to follow along the straightener. So I'm just gonna get the comb, put it in, and then get the straightener, go above it, and then just go down. And then that's one pass. Is that straightener working? <laughs> I'm confused. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. I was expecting like a whoa result, but it, it just looks the same. What? Super satisfying. Really, really, really satisfying. I love that she's putting a ton of tension on the hair before she actually like clamps the iron in. You know, I think for people who don't really know how to straighten their hair well, it's super important that you put that tension on, you pull the hair far from the scalp and then get that iron in there. That's how you get it super straight. I like to go over my hair two times or I don't care how many times I go over my hair, honestly. I'm not like a, I can only go over my hair once because I know my hair can handle it. So don't drag me if you're gonna see Say, OMG, she just went over her hair three times. And then we're just gonna keep repeating those steps throughout my whole head. I'm not totally convinced that going over your hair more times with a lower heat setting is less damaging than straightening your hair at a higher heat setting, but only going over the hair once. I mean, she is putting in the work into this. Wow, she is going around. I mean, this must have took hours. I mean, I hope she wears this for, you know, a few weeks at a time, I don't know, but this is looking really good and she is going to town on this hair and it is so satisfying and so beautiful to watch. It's so perfect and everything looks so well sectioned. Everything is, ah! Oh. She's continuing to go around the head and it is looking so freaking perfect. Oh my God, each section is just perfectly divided. Every piece is double passed. Every little piece on her hairline is perfect perfectly straightened and it looks long and luscious as fuck. I am thoroughly enjoying watching this. Y'all look how long my hair is. So this is how long my hair is. That's my belly button. That means it's longer than my belly button. <laughs> Another natural 30 inch bust down. I can't handle it today. I can't do it. <laughs> Done! 
Oh man, hair looking great. Let's see how long it took. An hour and 10 minutes. That is not bad at all. So one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like a brush, a bristle brush, and I'm gonna close the flat iron and just like go over my baby hairs because they're so short that I can't really straighten them. You don't wanna like push down too hard because you don't wanna burn your face. But since the outside is still hot, but it's not as hot as the inside, it works pretty good. Putting that iron on your face like that is wild. Absolutely wild. I couldn't do it. Okay, so now I am done. This is the final look. It's so silky and straight. And then this is the ends. They're super long. I need a trim. Like I know that already, so don't tell me. <laughs> like I said, there's my belly button. I'm at a loss for words. I mean, this is hair goals. However, I do wish you just did a little bit of a trim on the ends. That would just bring it to 100, but we're at, currently at 99. Like just a little trim would have brought it to 100. 100 for me. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. Okay, so I just pushed the camera further away so you can actually see the length of my hair. It's so long. I'm excited. What the heck? I'm only gonna trim like maybe like half an inch off, so that'll be fine. I literally never thought my hair would touch my butt. Oh man, but I do need to cut it, so it's gonna be a little bit above my butt. But that's fine because I know it'll grow back, and then I know when I curl it again, it'll be much, much healthier. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. <laughs> wow, wow, oh my God, another one. Another perfect soak press at home. I'm really, really impressed today. So we definitely saw a few different techniques today, but all worked like a charm. You guys all look incredible. It was so impressive. I just can't believe the talent that black women have with doing their own hair. I know I say that so much, but I can't express it enough. I'm just grateful you guys record these videos and I get to watch it and learn and, um, yeah, I think there's such a focus on learning how to style your hair yourself in the black community that it's just not the same with white people. Like there's no comparison at all. And it's so cool. It's so cool how hair styling is so celebrated in the black community. And I am forever inspired by everything you guys do. So thank you. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.